Hey everyone, in this video I'll be going over adding and removing slots and equipment for a modular pond. Continuing from the previous lesson, this is what we should have. No stats, no pawn, and no equipment being drawn. Because there's no there's nothing set. First thing we want to do is in our modular pawn system in the blueprints folder, go into the data, and let's open up the MPS equipment slot. Uh, for this tutorial, I'll be going over creating a head, a torso, and a leg slot. So let's add three new. Now, for the characters, the chest piece contains all the skeletal mesh bones. So the, to make things easier, I'm going to make this top of the enumerator. So let's go to torso, and let's go head, and legs. Let's save that. Now let's go into our MPS pawn. First thing we want to do is set our number of slots. So we currently add, we added three, so I'd like to add three slots next thing we want to do is we want to change our current equipment. Let's add three new slots. So now that we've added three new slots, this is the current equipment ID for the torso, current equipment ID for the head, and current equipment ID for the legs. Now we need to set up some equipment. I'm just going to add three for now. So it doesn't matter which order it, it's in for this. We could say, okay, we'll start off with the head and we'll go, uh, uh, we'll say this is a helmet. Uh, let's go into mesh. Let's add the blue head. For the torso, let's go, let's call it armor. Let's go, it'll be the blue chest as well as for the legs, and then we'll go armor, leggings. And let's set this to the blue legs. So now here's our equipment ID. So for the head slot, we'll set this to ID 0. For the torso slot, we'll set this to ID 1. And for the leg slot, we'll set this to ID 2. So for our torso, because it's on the top of the stack, that's our master component which contains all our bones. We'll set this to 1. We'll set this to 0, and then we'll set that to 2. So when we compile and save, let's hit play. So we've got our current pawn. He runs. If we hit 0, it shows us right now we have a torso. Armor is equipped for the head helmet equipped and for the legs we got armor leggings and we got three new buttons for new equipment now let's go ahead and let's add some variation let's add a new set back into the pawn our modular pawn system let's go into the global equipment and then let's add three new ones So these are our new ideas. Let's go with the head and let's ch say, uh, let's call this a hat. We'll change it to the green head. For the torso, I'll say coat. We'll change it to the green chest. And for the legs, I'll just call this pants. Let's change this to the green legs. Then we hit compile and save. Let's exit out of here. Well, let's hit play again to show you what happened. So when we open up our menu, it's now added more options. So if we hit hat, coat, and pants, we've now got a fully, fully new set. 
So if we change it back to armor, there we go. Now let's say we wanted to add a purely uh, purely stat item or a slot where there's no skeletal mesh, it's just purely data. So let's go back into the MPS equipment slot. Let's add a new slot. And I'll just call this uh, belt slot. So let's go back into the pawn. The next thing we need to do is change the number of slots to four because we added a new slot. Same thing for the current equipment. We need to add one more. Now we don't have anything set up in our global equipment, so we can't assign it a piece of equipment right now. So let's go into the global equipment. Let's add two new, two new members. So for this, we'll change the equipment slot to belt. And then we'll change its name to uh, leather belt. Now, we don't want any skeletal mesh for this, so we're not going to set anything. The same thing for our next ID, we're going to go equipment slot, change it to belt, and then I'll say rope belt. So perfect. Now we've got that slot set up. Now if we hit play, and we go into our equipment menu, Notice that it's added a belt slot, but our current belt says helmet. Well, that's because we actually didn't go in and change our default. So if we go into MPS Pawn, and we go back to our current equipment, let's actually stop that. It's currently zero. If we go back into our equipment, say let's say our default will be a rope belt. So our ID is 7. Let's set this to 7. Compile and save. So when we hit play again and go back into our equipment menu, its current equipment will be the rope belt. So we can change that. Same thing with our other parts. And there we go. That's how we add and remove equipment as well as slots. In the next video, I'll be going over how to add stats to your equipment. Thank you for watching.